but I have never also either, but I've never gotten a lawyer, a lawyer, but I've never gotten a lawyer, Laura. Jesus and all things beautiful. In today's video, we are going to be doing an Ipsy Glam Bag X unboxing. So this did arrive. This came in my mailbox on Friday, but I did go out of town for a couple of days. So I was not able to film for you guys. It literally came in the mail as I was driving away. So I will go ahead and um, get started. The first thing that I am seeing is by Natasha Denona, and this is the Lip Euphoria. This is in, it's a gloss and balm. This is four milliliters, and it's in the shade Mauve. I don't know how you say that. Is that Mauve or Mauve? Okay, so this is very kind of a nude shade. And that's cool. I'll do a quick swatch for you guys. So yeah, it's pigmented, very pigmented. I would say, because it's like the this is color of my skin tone, <laughs> and I haven't really blended it out, um, but yeah, it's still pretty pigmented, it's giving color, so that is the first item, very pleased with this, this is actually my first Natasha Denona product, so I'm really hoping that I will fall in love with that. The second thing is, okay. This is the Drunk Elephant, and this is the Reinforce, oh no, I'm sorry, Protini Power Peptide Resurface Serum. So this I think is just a serum, it's got 10% lactic acid and 11 signal peptides, and it's got a pH balance of 3.5. So I'm not going to open this, I will try to do a review on it, don't hold me to that. The third thing we got, Kira Moon Star Jelly, Magic Resurfacing Facial. Okay, it says it's magic, so it must be. And then I'll take it out of the box. Oh, cute. So it comes with like an applicator brush on the side of it. And if you keep the rubber band, you can actually like know where your brush is, <laughs> which is nice. So I think it's a mask. Uh, it says it's a facial, but I suspect that this is meant to be left on. Let's check. Okay. Oh yeah, it says leave on for 20 to 30 minutes. So it's a mask basically. So I am excited to try that. Good picks, Bailey. Oh, and I didn't mention, okay, so this is done by Bailey Syrian. She is our curator this month. And this is the magazine that you get. And this will tell you everything that you could have received in your bag. So Bailey picked out the Star Jelly for me and this Drunk Elephant so far. Yep, everything you could get. Cool, cool. So that's in there. Um, she says, grab that bold lipstick you're nervous to try and wear it wherever you go. Who cares? At the end of the day, it washes off. But I guarantee taking that leap will have you feeling as confident as ever. You'll have people thinking, damn, what's that lipstick color? All right, Bailey. I see you. I see you, girl. All right, the next thing we have is, okay, talk about a bold lipstick. It's the Makeup Forever Rouge Artist Forever Matte, and I believe this is the color. Ooh. All right, so we'll be able to rock it Bailey style. And I love a dark lipstick anyway, so Bailey's got my number, and I am excited for this. Okay, so it's actually more of like a brick color. This is not, you guys, okay, this is not this. The depiction on the box is quite inaccurate, but it's still pretty good. I mean, 
that's what you're getting. It looks like one of those old stamps that they used to seal envelopes with. So I'm wondering if this is like a long wear. Uh, let's see, 24 hour ultra matte. Okay, this claims to be 24 hours. Ladies and gentlemen, we will be putting this to the test. Oh yes, we will. And this is by Makeup Forever Professional Paris. The next thing that I'm seeing is Laura Mercier Light Catcher Loose Translucent Setting Powder. Okay, so this I'm excited about. I did not. I do need a setting powder, but I don't. <laughs> I can't even open it. Y'all, what's up with that? Okay, here we go. Okay. So this is the color and the packaging, very shiny, <laughs> but you can see it's a very kind of a dark color. It doesn't look like it, but it's actually about my skin tone. So it's not like a white setting powder, which, you know, so it will give me some tone, but I've never gotten a Laura Mercier product either. So I'm really excited to see how that goes. I will be trying that y'all. That's going to go in my queue, though, because I have one open right now. This is something I was very excited for. So the Catch Feelings Lychee Ruby Grapefruit Damask Rose Velveteer Roots and Suede. So this has like a, a musky scent. Very leathery, I would say. Um, but I, it's, it's, it's outside my comfort zone. It's outside my comfort zone. So this is the packaging on the outside. This is what it looks like on the inside. And it is full size. So it's an, an entire ounce, one fluid ounce, 30 milliliters. Let's try it. Let's try it. Ooh, that's got a nice spray. And it's, initially it smells really harsh, but I, I did actually try it earlier and it mellows out into this like really pretty unrecognizable, I can't quite pin it pin it, you know, kind of smell. So that's nice. I actually, I'm, this is growing on me. I, I will tell you guys the truth. I did open this box before I left because obviously I had to bring it up to here. So <laughs> I, I had myself reeling that I was driving away and he was delivering it. So I did drive back and bring it upstairs and I done sniffed it y'all. <laughs> then the next thing I have, ooh, good at dropping things, is the Too Faced Cosmetics Better Than Sex Waterproof Edition. Okay, so I am always up for a good waterproof mascara, and that is supposed to be like the before and after, so if it does that, I will be very happy. All right, and that, uh, guys, I don't have pricing, I don't think, for you guys. If I do, I will insert a clip in the description box or interject myself. The next item is Beauty for Real. I am always on the hunt for a good eye brush, so I did choose this one. This was a choice item, and I am excited to try these. If anybody knows if these are good, like did I pick the wrong thing, kind of, um, let me know. I'm excited to try them, and uh, I do like that they say what it is. One's a blender, one's a contour, one's a shader, uh, and then the other two aren't really telling me anything because I can't see onto the other side of the brush. But that is that item. And then I got an add-on. So I got the Intense Volume Mascara Magic Feather by Ditto. If you guys know anything about this mascara, let me know. Uh, but that was my add-on. It looks like a deluxe sample, so it, it should be interesting to see if it works. Uh, but that's everything, guys. That is everything I got in my Glam Bag X, I believe. And if you got these items, let me know. Did we get a box twin? Did we get um, different things? But to recap, the Ditto Feather Mascara add-on, the Beauty For Real uh, Eye Brush Makeup Brush Set, the Kira Moon Star Jelly, and that's a mask, the Proteiny Power Peptide Resurface Serum by Drunk Elephant, the Catch Feelings Five Sins Perfume, 
which really does smell nice when you like let it sit. And then the Natasha Denona uh, Lipophoria Lip and Balm. You know what? I'm going to try this on because I have like a pink and it's a little too pink for me today. So let's see. Let's see how it goes. Oh, wow. Okay, that's pigmented, y'all. You could wear this by itself. But like it. It has a mint flavor. I like that. But it did mute my lipstick quite a bit. So if you're looking for a clear translucent, this probably isn't the way to go for you. But it does feel really nice on my lips. So I'm excited to keep playing with this. Then we have the Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara. And the last thing was the Laura Mercier setting powder and then the last thing was the makeup forever lip rouge claiming to be 24 hours what do you guys think is it really 24 hours or is that is that false advertising let me know that is all i have for you guys today that is my glam bag x for the month of february 2023 and i will see you all in the next one bye